Well, I'll wise up by my father. Thank you, Dad. Uh, I reply that my problem is getting lost in a matrix, a nightmare matrix of the of the U.S. legal system. That I want to take my military examination as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, so I can get on with my life. Yeah. Hmm. Judge Friedman responds softly, okay, and after which he orders the court clerk to call Fort Wayne, which he does, and um, he says on the phone to them, oh, look, we have a young man here, and this is a court order. This is not optional. You are going to slot him in to take his physical for the military like now. Are we clear? Mm. Mm. Well, surprise, uh, Fort Wayne can slot me in. <laughs> Suddenly they found room. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, in a couple of days, in the morning, send them in. We're all ready to uh, process him. Mm -hmm. Um. So the judge says, okay, well then sign your name and uh, you're free to go. I refuse to sign my name. Well, <clears throat> the judge says, uh, okay, look, uh, will you give me your word? that you'll show up to take your physical examination for the military? I give you my word. All right, take the handcuffs off him. He is free to go. Ecstatic, wow. <laughs> Oof. I, um, I thank my co court appointed attorney who has like he's faithfully stood by me this whole time through the whole process up to here uh, and uh, astonished the lawyer looks like he's about to catch on fire as he explains to me i am not your lawyer i am the federal prosecutor who has been trying to put you away uh, handcuffs removed. <laughs> I itch my wrist. Ouch. Mm. Stagger outside for the first time in, in, in do it on the sun. Ah. <sighs> Almost blinding. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, humble possessions under my arm. I take the uh, bus back to Coyote's place. Surprised to see me. Well, more yoga, meditation, marijuana, and Detroit style Kama Sutra. Yeah. Showtime! Oof. Coyote drives me to Fort Wayne. Friday morning, date December 11th, 1969. Hand in my courtroom paperwork, escorted to a huge classroom, examination, honest, every, honestly answer everything, <sighs> pass with flying colors. Uh, physical examination, next. Uh, nothing too strenuous here either. You know, I just walked 200 miles from Darjeeling to Kathmandu. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm poked. <laughs> Prodded. I look at my kid. And then <laughs> they tell me to turn around and spread my ass cheeks. And, well, not much to report oh, about my asshole, I guess. Oh. Yeah, past the... Uh, 
physical exam, flying colors. Next comes the, um, well, I guess I passed everything. So I end up with 60 other inductees uh, in a large, kind of a Quonset hut, huge gymnasium style uh, building. And there's a wide yellow line, about a foot wide, painted across the hardwood gymnasium floor. And boy, is this sergeant uptight. He's screaming at us. I mean, he's standing right next to us. Why does he need to? Uh, that uh, uh, we are, he's going to order us to step over this yellow line. And once we do, we are no longer civilians. <laughs> we will be under military law and inducted. Uh, okay, men. Step over the line. Jeez. Oh, um, well, everybody steps over the line. Yeah, I mean, except me. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, the sergeant. What's your problem, kid? Well, <laughs> I explained to him calmly. I do not have a problem. Mm hmm. And um, the more he shouts at me, the more I teach him Buddhism and uh, that he should meditate, relax. Yeah. Uh, this yellow line, it's a famous yellow line. <laughs> you know, uh, they're all over the country, apparently, these yellow lines. And this is the yellow line that Muhammad Ali did not step over, refuse to step over, on uh, April 28th, two years earlier. Yeah. Uh, well, about the military induction scene, uh, within the gymnasium uh, on the far side of the yellow line are three sort of banked tiers of uh, desks with men in uniform typing furiously away. Uh, when I can see them, because uh, there's so much cigarette smoke, uh, they fade in and out of a nicotine fog bank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I can see them, uh, yeah, they're behind the typewriters. Uh, um, well, in the back row, on the this this guy in a uniform is waving for me to come over. I explained to him. I can't come over. I can't because I can't step over the yellow line. So he comes over, outranking the sergeant, and tells him to chill, that this kid is coming to chat with him, and he's, you got this? He's not officially stepping over the line. Okay. Uh, well, at the des desk of this stranger, uh, and on it, Expected extraordinary conversation takes place. He says, uh, my name's Samuel, and uh, he asked me about my Tibetan robes. I explained. Uh, Samuel says he's been watching me all day go through this little torturous rat maze they set up, and he doesn't think that I should be in the military. <laughs> this guy's in uniform. Um... That he's taking my predicament personally. Hmm. Oh. An expert inside the system. Samuel explains to me how to avoid induction. <laughs> Unexpected empowerments like this have been starting to happen to me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, here we go. He gets out of his clipboard, checklist. Uh, have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? <sighs> no, I mean, I'm, I've never voted. Uh, I'm not political at all. Uh, no, uh, I'm not, you know, I, I, I like to party, uh, but... Uh, <sighs> mm. All right. Sam says, well, you know what? You look like you may be 
one of those homosexuals. <clears throat> I like women. <laughs> Shit. Uh -oh. All right. Uh, he's persistent, Samuel. Huh? So, um, well, <clears throat> excessive use of drugs. That rings a bell. I explained to Samuel, like, I've just smoked hashish in Kathmandu for 40 days. 40 nights as the first man on the moon landed. <laughs> Samuel says, great. Now I can check you off to see the military site. Psychiatrist. Sounds almost biblical. Forty days, forty nights. See the psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> 